So 6.30 in the morning, uh, we've already got a bunch of people that showed up last night. Show is off to a good start. We're happy, we're happy. So this is what we want to see. The lineup has begun, 7 o'clock in the morning. We had a lot of vendors show up last night. Uh, a lot of people exposing their machines. But now we're starting to get the lineup, which is good. Maybe open up a, a second lane to admissions here. All right. Uh, so I just got off gate duty. Uh, I'm gonna go walk around the show, see, uh, see if there's any goodies. See if there's any goodies for me. Nineteen seventy-three Thunder Jet. There's only eight of them that have been built. Got enough wind today to cool that air cool down while he winds it. <laughs> For all you Ski Whiz fans, an old Ski Whiz racer. Oh, yeah. Single cylinder, it's in there. It's hiding in there. I like this, but I actually like this quite a bit better. One of my favorite sleds, the 1975 245RV. Uh, I have two of them myself, but uh, not in this magnificent condition. Uh, it's always fun to see. And I think there's a super mod uh, model that's, that's over there that we're gonna go see in a few seconds. But this is a fantastic example of a 75RV. Got some good looking Arctic cats. Nice original, original style condition. Bit of wear, but they're all there. They're all original. <laughs> So 
So if this is what it says it is, it'd be a 1959 prototype. That would be like year one stuff. I mean, only here in Quebec, right? Snow jets, as far as the eye could see. There's a fine line between collection and obsession. So our annual show is by no means a big show. I mean, it's it's been going on for a couple of years now and it's growing every year. This is the second year we're in this new location allowing us to expand a little. But what we don't have in terms of size, we make up in terms of quality. Let me show you a couple magnificent things that I think are pretty exclusive to our show. profile concept sled I mean you don't see that every day matter of fact you probably won't see that ever in your lifetime but it was here this year so we're pretty happy about that beautiful beautiful sled really uh, really nice it's funny because a guy wanted to go and uh, and touch it and uh, they said no you can't touch it that's God's machine and uh, I found that pretty funny Jacques Villeneuve's 87 twin track. Jacques is here somewhere. Uh, oh, there he is. Right about there. assembles a crowd like starting an old twin track old school moto ski Thank you. 
Here's that 245 Super Mod 75 with the mod kit. Looks like it's got the heads. The tag says it's a Yeah, it says it's a 245, yeah. But uh, what's in the cylinder, that's another thing. So that's not a 245 cylinder. They're not the 245 cylinder for sure. Lui, il y a tout le kit complet, là, le, le, dans le fond, il y a l'allumage, il y a le, vraiment tout, les têtes, c'est ça. Les cylindres, les pistons, les têtes. Oui. Puis, il y a-tu la, la, mettons, il y avait-tu la chenille aussi, là, parce que je pense que ça se vendait en deux, ouais, en deux ben parties, hein, c'est... La chenille, je peux pas te le garantir, il faudrait que je fasse des recherches. Okay. Hey. Ceux qui connaissent, ils me le diraient, là. Ok, hey. ok. Il y qui course avec ça, il est venu moi, là. Ouais. Et lui, il le sait. Ok, ok. Sait. Belle machine. So I asked him if it was the uh, if it was the actual factory mod kit. He says, yeah, and it's the whole thing. You know, the the cylinders, the heads. I think there's an ignition. Uh, there's, you know, the ignition mod. Everything's modded on it. The pipes. Uh, I asked him if he had the track. In fact, I think it was a separate kit for like the, the track mod and he wasn't sure so and I don't know enough about it to, to, to validate so we'll, we'll just we'll just consider it is right oh, the 669 this I can see Sixty-nine, six sixty-nine. Les pistons soixante-dix-huit par soixante-dix de trop. L'année d'après, il y avait soixante-sept. Tu l'as amené? T'as fini le bain à temps? Tu vas peut-être reconnaître ton moteur. Ben oui. Pas tout à fait pareil. Toi, as... Moi, j'ai la crainte dessus. C'est ça. Ouais. Lui, il avait le starter électrique. Fait que la crainte, c'est juste une corde que c'est sorti. C'est ça. Dépanné. Parce qu'il y avait des modèles que tu n'avais pas le starter électrique sans option. Là, tu avais une crainte. Euh... D'après moi, le mien, il est pas mal différent. En fait. Ben, tu vois pas bien ben, la tête parce qu'il est, ouais. est caché par le, le, le garde. C'est ici, je suis pas sûr que le mien est là. Oh, 
Et là, ça ressemble à ta barouette. Thirty-eight hundred for a nice trail twister. Seventy-five. Three thousand for a Puma. Seventy-two. Nice and clean. So parts galore, as to be expected at any good snowmobile show. All kinds of cool stuff. Uh, you got some vendors with some standard things, and you got some guys that got some really rare, special stuff. Okay. Hello. I'm gonna get this. Good stuff like just say it, okay? I don't have to send it in. I gotta go over and get my, my out of my truck. Okay. No problem. Yep. Got some nice fancy ski rules over here. And a couple old bikes, a little CT70. 
I'm in a Honda 750. A couple old TNTs. More good old fashioned parts. I've gone almost to maximum overboard. It's blown up many times, hasn't it? it, it, it <laughs> no. no. It's all brand new. Why'd you have to go so large then? Because I wanted to. Or you had pistons? Yes. People out there wheeling and dealing, peddling their goods. It's an old trail breaker, is that what they're called? Those two wheel drive, two stroke motorcycles. Nice, nice. For all you moto ski guys, a couple old racers. This is the 78 cross country with the 77, 77 cross country with the tank in the back. I got fires, eh? Yeah. About two sets. We get a couple more sets. Here. I took off 13 <laughs> coats of paint and fiber glass. Labor of love, huh? <laughs> project sled. All of the ones I have are project sleds. A couple cross country RVs, uh, 1977, and I think this is a 79. This would be, uh, well, they're both liquid cools, right? Uh, I guess 340s. Beautiful, beautiful sleds. asking yourself if there are any prizes for all these wonderful sleds the answer is yes yes there are several different prizes We've got some judging some judging going on behind us here Just missed it. Uh oh, rain. We went up to pack it in early because uh, weather was okay up until about I don't know 1:30, and uh, now it's starting to get a little bit rainy. So guys are guys and gals are packing up their their stuff, and uh, there's still people showing up though. Strangely enough, people are still still paying to get in. So that's cool. It's a 69 and it's the only year they made the 371 
I actually didn't know they made a 371. I guess you learn something new every day. That's it. Yeah, it's got all the plastics and everything, eh? Like yeah. all the stuff yeah. that you'd say you'd end up losing it and breaking it and mm -hmm. stuff. And uh, cab looks like it's in great yeah, shape so they too. Must have taken it apart for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Electric start. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice sled. Really nice. I'd take off, but uh, I think prizes are at two, and I waited long enough. I'll wait it out to see the prizes uh, be given, and uh, and then I think that's going to be it for me. So, so about that, at the catch for something left. Prize time giving out all those wonderful little plaques for all the different categories. Everyone's getting their prizes. We're not done yet. All the plaque winners get to go on top of getting a can of clutch lube. They go and they get a prize. Let's see what this guy gets. Nice. They get to choose anything they want when they come up to that school. So as quick as it started, it's already it's already pretty much done. Guys loading up their, their precious cargo, getting ready to do hundreds, even thousands of kilometers to get these beasts back into their homes. But uh, taking them out a couple times a year to show everyone is always a big pleasure. Always a big pleasure for people exposing and even greater pleasure for us visitors that come along and come along and see all this stuff, you know, so. Well, that's about it for uh, our annual summer snowmobile show. This is the 2021 edition. It was a success despite a little bit of rain, end of the day. I consider this event to be a wonderful success. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Sign out.